And you guys know that oil and water don't mix, right? Especially when you start heating the oil up. If there's any In this room on the second floor of the Granite Technical Institute, a host of young technicians are experimenting with creating remarkable new products. Um, I'd like each of you to have a waste container in case you do take too many ingredients. With modern scientific devices at their fingertips and under the expert guidance of an accomplished instructor and scientist, they have learned the techniques of precise measurement, temperature control, and creation of biological compounds. Shante Robb carefully measures the chemicals of her new product. I'm making coconut, avocado, cocoa, and shea butter chapstick. But Shante has competition. Across the lab, Eddie Cervantes snaps on his gloves and prepares to produce his own novel biological invention. I am making some chapstick that I'm using several, uh, several flavored and essential oils. What kind? Um, I'm using black cherry, root beer, strawberry, and lavender. Even if root beer, strawberry, and lavender aren't on your first list of lip balm flavors, what these Granite Technical Institute students are learning is remarkable. Well, hands-on. And for instance, now with the lip balm project that we're making, each of these students have developed their own recipe, their own formulation for lip balm using all natural ingredients. So theirs is different than anyone, any lip balm that's ever been made on the planet. It's their own creation, their own invention. Um, but in the process of doing that, they've needed to learn how to convert units, how to you know, measure using the analytical balance, using micropipettes, convert from grams to milliliters to microliters, um, do percentages. So they learn all of their the chemistry calculations that they would learn in a regular chemistry class, but they can apply it. They actually have a reason to learn it and, and have it make sense. There is more to biomanufacturing than beakers and stirring rods. Even in creating their imaginative lip balm concoctions, Granite Technical Institute students are exposed to procedures and equipment that few high school students encounter. This is real world. I mean, it, it gives them something real to apply those skills to, rather than just learning about it in a book and taking a test on it. They actually get to do it, see it, see if it works, do it again, measure it. Giving kids skills that they can use in their future that hopefully will, will, will lead to a career. Maybe that career will involve college, maybe it won't. Either way, they've got some really good marketable skills. The biomanufacturing course provides students with experience in the manufacture of medicines, medical devices, cosmetics, nutritional supplements, biofuels, and other products. In this lab, they also learn safety precautions while handling medical, pharmaceutical, and natural products. The students will visit local biomanufacturing companies and explore possible career paths. It isn't, the students say, like sitting in class. I did come in here just like with an interest in the field, not necessarily saying that was like what career I wanted. But with just how everything's going, it does have a lot of potential to be a career. It's really hard, but if you could fit in, do it. 